aesthetic. This is the unesthetic side of everything. How, does, how do I do this? What's my total? I don't like that total. I have a celebratory cookie because I'm tired. Um. A lot. I don't even know if I like this angle. Anyway, this is Simply Haley Sheree. I am Simply Haley Sheree. Welcome or welcome back. I'm still out of breath. Let's let's go over there. Hello. So the me right now has no idea what I've titled this video, but anyway, even by the title of the video, even though I don't know what it is yet, I am trying to make my aunt experience more aesthetic. Or whatever that means. Like, you know how you see those TikToks on TikTok where the art is like super aesthetic, like it's dreamy, it's ethereal, the person painting looks pretty, she's probably wearing something nice, she's probably skinny, but she looks good. It looks good. It's a good vibe. That is the vibe that I want. I want something aesthetic, or at least just I want to try to see if I'm gonna like it because honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I like what I'm doing. It's me, it's whatever, but I mean, sometimes I could be, you know, I could dress up a little and get some cute angles and see how that goes. But anyway, I have a master plan. The plan is this one, make my room as aesthetic as I possibly can. I don't really know what that means, but it means something. Two, that's pretty much all there is. <laughs> I just want to make my art desk, my room as aesthetic as I possibly can. And for me, that means soft, whimsical. I'm also going to give myself a transformation to see if we can get into this aesthetic vibe that we be seeing that I, uh, not, that I am not doing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. We'll see how this goes. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I must hand it over to past me whose idea this was and who had to do the shopping for this video so I would able to be make this right now. So take it away past me. Thank you so much, future Haley. Um, this is past Haley speaking. We are going to order the things that we need to make our room more aesthetic. I don't even know what that means, but I want my art experience to be a little bit more aesthetic or I feel like it should be. I don't know. I'm just trying something and to be honest, it's the perfect excuse to buy things. So I have my laptop right here. Let's look for some things. I think what I want is some cartons to go over my closet because I feel like that'll give like an elegant vibe, you know what I mean? Curtains. Lace curtains, to be exact. Lace curtains. And there's a lot of options. Okay. okay. I gotta measure. I need to measure my closet. Hold on. I need to see how long this is because it's gonna go from here to here. How does how do I do this? Okay, what does that say? Um, okay, 59. It's 59 inches. Oy. I think I need this one too. 80. Let's go with 80 ish. 80 ish inches long. What was the first one? 59. 59 inches that way. Okay. Now we've got the measurements 59 and. Was it 80? Sure. I, but I guess that doesn't matter. I need the rod that it's going to go on to be 59 inches. That's what it is. That's what it is. What's my total? I don't like that total. <laughs> Okay, we have ordered everything that I think that I will need for this aesthetic transformation, whatever it ends up looking like. I honestly don't know. I, I have the idea. Future Haley has, you know, she's putting it together. So take it away, Future Haley. That's all I got. A butterfly. A monarch butterfly. Anyway, thank you so much, past me. Thank you so much for spending your money so that I could make this video, even though future you right now is very mad that you spent that money, even though it was for something good. Anyway, so the stuff has already arrived. That's all of it over there. And first things first is probably putting together the curtain and opening all the boxes. And then I will do the transformation to make me look more aesthetic or whatever that means. <laughs> so let's put up the curtain first or let's open the boxes, I guess. Box number one. Somebody took my knife. Curtain rod. I guess this is the non-aesthetic side of it. Gotta open all these boxes. We got all this trash to deal with. What's in box number two? Terps, cause I have a plan. Metal sheets. Ah! Ooh, it's spiking. It's supposed to help um, 
with something. I have a plan. We have the curtain. Great, I was really afraid because I actually bought this too quickly and I realized that it said cream on it and I wanted it to be white, but it looks pretty white, so that works. The mason jars, that is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I thought the mason jars that I got were going to be this big, but they're this big. Um, okay, it took like five minutes just to like think, so I am going to continue with my original thought because I really like the paint on the edges of these. It just gives a certain vibe and I don't want to lose that. So the turps will go in here so we can move on. So before I do the curtains, actually, I think I need to do the less aesthetic part, which is putting up the grated thing. Anyway, this is supposed to go in there so that when I rub the bottom, it like you know helps it or whatever actually how the hell am i gonna get this in there i've got my panel i've got my wire cutters and i'm going to put this here and trace it with a sharpie put it on the edge because i don't want to waste um hopefully this fits you just make a circle i can't see a thing wow wow that's great mm, how do i do this let's just start cutting i'm gonna hold this like this Yes, and just cut. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I definitely missed that. Oh, oh. I think that's the best I can do. Well, that just took 10 minutes of my life. It shouldn't have. Um, this is as good as I think I can get it. I don't even know if it's going to fit inside. And would you look at that? It doesn't. Okay, what if I just force it in there? And then, yeah. Just put it in there. Oh! You hear that? I, it worked. Wow! So I just put a couple of drops, drops? A couple of drops of E6000 glue on the bottom. Um, so as that dries, let's now do the makeover. This is what it looks like before. Uh, I'll just come to you with that after. So this is what I came up with. <laughs> Honestly, the bangs are a little bit like two in my face and I have to go outside because I have to get the flowers. But So I think I'll do this for the moment. I don't like that though. What if I just curl the middle ones a little bit more? can see the lace and the wig. I think it's good enough to fool some people in person, so whatever. Now I need to put up the curtain and then go get the flowers. Hmm. Is this? I would look good with bangs. Yeah, hey Hannah, let's do everything. Now I'm just putting together the rod so that um, I can put it up and it's complicated. This is why you read instructions. This is the unesthetic side. <sighs> Of everything. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh! <laughs> this is so pretty! Wait a minute, is this a background? <laughs> well, maybe some of you are wondering, why not get like a thing that goes over there? Because that's my near background. Well, I had one of those like princess canopy things and it just did not turn out well. It just gathered dust. It was not anything that people want or what I wanted so I decided to do this because you do see this sometimes in my shots and I felt like maybe come maybe 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 covering up my clothes sometimes would be nice I also have like lace to be able to do that let me do that real quick hold on look at this obviously I have like stuff here so it's a little harder for this one to be as like nice as this one but that suggests it gives a cute little vibe so what is this, step four, step five? Done. Now it is time to go outside and bring in the vibes of aesthetic. And to do that, I will be going to a, like a naturey, frolicky place. A place where I can just, you know, to get the vibes, right? And then I will get some flowers. So let's go do all that. Hannah came with me from Wall 
support so we can start feeling the vibes of the aesthetic that I'm going for which is whatever this is yep so anyway if you don't calm down I can't stay breathe in breathe out let me speak now what happened was a one time thing no push no lie I swear I'll try to give you my everything Got the shot, bangs look crazy. Just kind of, well, look really bad. Just feeling the aesthetic vibes of this place. I think I got the energy that I really needed. Yeah, Hannah really helped me out getting those shots. Definitely think this is what I was looking for. I think this will definitely give me the aesthetic or something. <coughs> this journey for aesthetic stuff is not for the weak of heart. This. It's crazy. I'm tired. 20 is high. Allergies is on max. And um, I'm going to have to figure something out for the flowers because I have no more energy to go get the flowers. So we'll see if I actually do that or not. Not sure. Let's get home. Back home, as you can see, my bangs look absolutely ridiculous. I have a celebratory cookie because I'm tired. I deserve this cookie. I got my little flower. Obviously my desk is a mess, and I need to clean all of that up so that I can actually do the aesthetic thing. But I'm just gonna relax, lay down for a minute, take the wig off, and just chill out for a second because I'm hot, overwhelmed, and tired. <sighs> okay. I'll see you when I'm, uh, I'll see you when I'm... I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, I am refreshed. I had my cookie, had a break, had a little bit of excitement because the show I've been waiting to come out has finally come out. So I'm excited to watch that later today. Um, I refreshed my bangs. They kind of feel a little different than earlier, like a little less wispy. I don't know. Can't really fix them. It is what it is. Um, so now we're just going to do the whole shebang. Ready, set, action.
End scene. So what did we think? Was it more aesthetic? Is it the kind of vibe that we're looking for? Is it not? I will say it was tiring to have this wig on as well. It was tiring. I don't know, kind of like my normal paint process on TikTok. Just a little bit more jazzed up because you know, the wig, the hair, you know, the makeup, the lashes, and the outside energy receiving. So this is what I ended up coming up with today. I really like how it turned out. I do have more to learn and uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to practice making fluffier clouds because I like how it's more <laughs> You feel? They're just a little bit fluffier. I do think that diffusing the edges gives it that more fluffy appeal and that's what I'm looking for because I want redemption on a different project and to do that I need to practice clouds like this. So this is good for a first practice um, and it's good for the aesthetic. You know, clouds, people love people love clouds. People love people painting clouds. People people like looking at clouds. So a good decision on my part. Oh, finally done. It has been a long day today. But I'm glad that it is over. So anyway, this has been the video for today. I hope you liked it. I really do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or do whatever you want. It does help me out though. That's all I have for you. That's all the energy I have for today. The sun is setting. It's hot in my room. I need to close this window and make sure there's no spiders anywhere. But yeah, that's it. I'm done. So, goodbye. I'm done. I'll see you in the next one.